that's a, that's a good amount of stuff. I'm pretty impressed. Let's roll the intro. What is up, Venti viewers? We are here today reviewing the brand new Peter McKinnon Sling Pack. It is eight liters, it is durable, it is water resistant. It fits a lot of stuff, as you can see. I literally just got it from UPS like an hour ago. I kickstarted this, so I've bought this thing, I think in like June of last year. So it's been a hot minute, but COVID really screwed up all of the supply chain things. So that's where we are and I'm just dealing with it. So I'm gonna break this video into two parts. The first part is kind of the unboxing, which you've already seen. And then we have the initial first impressions, which so far has been positive. I'm going to take it out to an event that I'm shooting tomorrow with One Wheel actually in Santa Monica. And then we're gonna come back to the studio and I'm gonna give you kind of my final impressions after using it out in the field. But let's get started with some things that I wanna talk about just with the first initial impressions. So Nomadic claims that they've used the most durable materials and packed in tons of innovative features so that you can worry less about your bag and live your life on the move. It's got water resistance, it's got repositional dividers, it also has wide open access, a place for everything, and a quick closure system, and you also have an external tripod carry option as well. So a quick thing about the tripod part is I bought these extra straps. I don't know if the actual one is going to come with the straps. This was like an extra $20, I think, for the two straps. So that way you can strap a tripod right to the bottom. Highly recommend it. I think this is gonna be a pretty run and gun bag for me. Let's start with the outside. So we have a little kind of grip thing here, as you can see. So that way, if you wanna just kind of carry it like this, and then we also have an option to slide it through our suitcase if we want to as well. It's a really nice slick material and I say that because I work a lot on the beach. I do a lot of shoots on the beach so to have something where the sand isn't gonna stick to is really, really nice. We also have clips on the front so you could attach things on the front if you really wanted to as well. Okay, so let's talk about what happens on the inside of the bag here. So it came with two dividers. I was able to fit my Nikon Z6 with a 50 prime in there unattached and it came with this extra divider in here like this. Uh, you could also, I tried to fit a Mavic 3 Pro in here, you could also fit a drone right here but that takes up most of the case but you can fit the controller on top and one extra battery. So if you only need one battery in the drone and then one extra battery to fly around. Cool, it's simple, it's nice, easy. We also have three SD card slots or rather camera card slots here on the inside. We have our little zipper here that says fly the flag. Hold that up, maybe you can see that hopefully right here. This part zippers right here so you have a nice little extra pouch in here as well. Right here we have two giant open pockets, which is nice. I was able to fit an ND filter in there, an extra road mic, and a 500 gigabyte hard drive that we saw earlier as well. So overall, this has a lot of space. I'm really, really excited to use it. Probably one of the most innovative features I think this bag has is it has this really quick close access. Now, this isn't zipped, but you could, I guess, zip it up halfway. But the whole point of this feature right here is that if you need to just have, if you only have one hand available, you kind of just snap it in just like that. And that way the bag will stay closed. Great, great innovative feature. I love that. That's going to make it a lot easier since I'm always usually only one handed when I'm out in the field because I'm carrying the camera in the other hand. It does have this nice sling. This was already included. You can adjust it. It is not removable, so the sling is is what it is. It's not gonna be able to be removed, which is fine. I'm not complaining about that. I think that takes care of the first initial impressions and unboxing and how much stuff we can fit in it. It's a durable bag. It's nice and light. I can't wait to use it at the event tomorrow, so I'll see you guys back in the studio with my initial final thoughts. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in a moment. Okay, it has been a long and fun weekend. It's been a full 48 hours since I've had this bag. 
I'm gonna give you the final thoughts. Starting with, this bag is super light. I was wearing it all weekend long while I was shooting and I almost forgot that it was actually on me. It's super durable, I love the material and just how light it was, was such a, a nice change from carrying around a heavy backpack all the time. And something I thought that I would do is I brought out the Cube Pack, which is the previous Peter McKinnon Nomadic collab, just so you guys could see the difference in size. So here's the Cube Pack, and this is the new sling. Overall, I mean, kind of the same, not bad, right? You can see that from up there. Just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how big it is compared to maybe something else you already have. This obviously folds into an entire backpack, but just give you an idea there. Something that I found myself using a lot was actually this back strap right here. Uh, as I was kind of moving around and, and moving from place to place if I wasn't wearing it, which was rare, I was carrying it more like this. Now let me zip this up. I was carrying it a lot like this when I was going to and from the location from Santa Monica Pier to my car and everything, just because I already had a backpack on and I don't know, I just, I really like this feature right here. It's, it's, it's a small and subtle feature, but I'm very, very happy with it. It looks like it's very, very tightly knitted in there as well. So I think it could definitely take some weight, no issues there, love it. Something that I knew was gonna be a game changer, but I didn't, I couldn't wait to experience it was this quick close option. I used that so much when I was swapping batteries, swapping ND filters, just quickly opening the bag, getting out my Osmo Mobile. This, this right here and how secure it is too, I didn't ever feel like there was gonna be a time when it was gonna just fall open. So it was, it was great. Okay, kind of the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys, something I thought about. I did attach a Peak Design clip onto the bag. Now I did attach my camera to it. It was a little awkward. I think if I were to do it again, I would probably make the bag a little bit heavier because the camera on the actual sling strap itself was a little awkward. It did kind of weigh the bag towards the front and the camera was sagging a little bit. But I think that if you maybe keep a lighter lens on there, like a prime lens and then put heavier stuff in the bag and almost fill up the bag and everything, I think that that would kind of balance it out and make it okay, but being able to have a camera here, which then leaves room for maybe a drone or a big lens, something like that here is really, really beneficial. Overall, I'm really happy with this bag. I think that Peter McKinnon and Nomadic knocked another one out of the park. Build quality, lightness, the features of this bag too, absolutely just really, really well done. So that's all I have for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more Venti Views content. Don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you in the next video.